Hey, Good Shepherd family, I want to share a few thoughts uh, with you gleaned from God's Word today. Psalm 84 gives us a great picture of longing to be in God's presence. Uh, Psalm 84 has three sections, and I want to read the first stanza for you, the first four verses. To the choir master, according to the giddeth, it's like a musical term, I think, a psalm of the sons of Korah. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts! My soul longs, yes, faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh sing for joy to the living God. Even the sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young. At your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are those who dwell in your house, ever singing your praise. Selah. The sons of Korah, or the Korites, wrote like 11 psalms, and this is one of them. They were priests from the tribe of Levi, back in, way back, way back before Jesus. And we learn from uh, 1 Chronicles chapter 9 that the sons of Korah were the keepers of the threshold of the tent. They were gatekeepers. Their job was at the entrance of the temple in Israel. Uh, they did not enter like the sons of Aaron did and make sacrifices. They managed the gates of what came in and went out. They had a job, and their job was on the outside. No doubt when the sons of Korah would stand at the gates, they couldn't help but to notice the swallows making their mud nests, maybe in between the roof and the walls of the temple. It's the, the most important place on earth uh, is where the swallows would be free to make their home. It was the best place because it was the place where God said he was going to dwell. No harm would come to them. A place where the blessing of God rests. A place in the presence of God. And I think we can uh, relate a lot to the sons of Korah, those Korites really stood at a distance and their jobs were to be gatekeepers. In these days, you were kind of just waiting around looking at all the news. And you may feel inhibited in what you are doing. This psalm isn't about them doing the work of the gatekeepers, but about perspective. These four verses are all about longing to be in God's presence. Your greatest joy, your greatest satisfaction in life comes from the presence of God. Only God can satisfy as our focus shifts from us to Him. Real happiness comes through Him. As Americans we're really good at doing. Uh, we excel at the doing part. And sometimes our faith can look more like us trying to do things for God. These verses show us the importance is being, which is the foundation of the doing. It says in verse 2, My soul longs, faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh Sing for joy to the living God. And then in verse 4 it says, Blessed are those who dwell in your house, ever singing your praise. The longing is to be with God. The sons of Korah longed for the place of perfect joy in the courts of the Lord. And the beauty of Jesus in the New Covenant is that Enjoyment of God's presence is about God sending His Spirit to be with us. God's dwelling place through the death and the resurrection of Jesus is with you. And Ephesians 2.22 tells me that. And also John 
Three, where Jesus says that we worship in spirit and in truth. God wants us to long to be in his presence, to yearn to commune with him. We don't have a place that we have to go to find God. In your shelter and place, God is not far. He is near. And so we can say along with Jesus that in your presence, O God, there is fullness of joy. And at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. The encouragement I see from these verses in Psalm 84 is to pursue the beauty of being with God. Redeem a shelter in place through seeking real experience of visiting with God. This is about being in God's presence. Strive for that. The longings of your heart are satisfied in God. So pour over and, and pray over these verses as you seek God and the uh, the beauty of God and and that he will meet with you and it will be good. So do that.